Welcome to a tutorial on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover an example of how to use force input box as part of Harlow 3.3. So we've previously seen how we can use input or input box to get input from users. We can get a single line with input, multiple lines with input box. Alternatively, we can use force input and force input box to force the user to input something. And as we've seen in a previous video, we can then check to see using the bind keyword and be bound to a variable that the user actually inputted the thing as we asked them to. So let's look at a kind of short but somewhat silly example of how we can engage with force input box to force a particular effect. So I've named this example ghost input so we can see an example of how we can use the narrative effect of forcing input in a particular example. So let's go ahead and start with the start passage. It says the will has been read and your rich uncle has left you a house, a kind of setup we often see in horror movies um, more classically. The only requirement is that you must spend the night there. Again, a requirement we see in kind of traditional horror um, media. So we want to then enter the house. So if we enter the house, we see typewriter, force input box, a whole lot of potential things that we will see that somebody could enter. Then we see link, enter bedroom, the door disappears, link, try to leave, the door disappears. So a somewhat silly example, but a particular effective one to demonstrate this idea. So let's go ahead and start here. So as I established, we have a will, we have a rich uncle has left us a house, and we must spend the night. Let's go ahead and enter the house. So we enter the house and we see a typewriter. And then we can use a typewriter, but I'm gonna skip that for just a moment. We try to enter the bedroom, door disappears, try to leave, the door disappears, and forcing us to interact with the typewriter. So if I type all kinds of gibberish, we see all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Um, those who have read the book, The Shining from um, Stephen King or seen the movie of the same name, would see this particular line it shows up in that movie as something that shows up quite a bit on a typewriter as uh, the main character um, gets uh, madness uh, as the movie goes without revealing too much about what's actually going on in that movie or in the book. But we see we can force the player to type quite a lot of things. It just keeps going and keeps going until they run to the end. So we can create the effect of kind of a ghost input, that is, and show input using force input box, or, or alternatively using force input if I only wanted a single line. So a somewhat silly example, not a particularly uh, extravagant example, but an idea of how to use this for particularly good narrative effect. I established the exposition that we were in the house. As you saw, the use of the link macro showed that we were then trapped in the house. We were using the typewriter, which was showing the same line, and hopefully people understood the reference from either the book or the movie would then connect with, oh, this is having to do with ghosts or having to do with ghost input, if nothing else. So again, a somewhat silly, silly example, but a use of how to do this. If we wanted to use force input, force input box, we can force a user to do something again and again and again until they kind of get tired or expire themselves. Alternatively, if I wanted to, although I've not yet covered it in a current video, we could use macros to set up a timer and force the user to sit in that passage until the timer expired and then send them to somewhere else using the go-to macro or some alternative means. So we could have created a way to escape, but I thought it might be more effective for this particular video to focus in on that just use of force input box macro within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.